Welcome to the warm-up show here on WOSN, getting you ready for the 2015 high school football season. I'm Patrick Hamler talking a little Waynesfield Goshen Tiger football this afternoon, joined by head coach Tyler Turner. And coach, talk a little bit about last season. What, how could you summarize just kind of everything that uh, happened with your kids last year? Uh, last season uh, was a step in the right direction, discipline-wise, uh, weight room-wise, and, and things like that. I think I felt that we underachieved on Friday nights. We had some penalties and stuff that uh, um, we've really uh, worked hard so far this year to uh, to eliminate those those issues. But uh, you know, our, our win-loss definitely didn't show what we were capable of. However, it was definitely a step in the right direction. So. With the off season that you guys just had, what were some of the things that you maybe asked your kids that were returning uh, the leaders in your team to really step up and work on as you got closer to this football season? Well, I think first and foremost, um, we knew that our numbers were going to be a little lower this season. So um, we've worked hard on injury prevention in the weight room, getting stronger and things like that. Um, but the, the seniors have had to be very vocal this year as far as uh, you know going out and approaching, uh, getting new kids to play, and, and they've done a great job of that. So. You're really just kind of getting started and getting back into practice, but how many kids are you expecting to be on the team this year? Uh, we're actually up to 25, uh, so that is a few more than what we had last year, but at the beginning of camp, uh, we were only looking at 12. So it's uh, these last couple of weeks have been uh, phenomenal in the stamp from the standpoint of uh, community support and things like that, and we have got a lot of new kids out, but... Um, at the same time, that prevents some or presents some new challenges is uh, kind of getting the new kids caught up to where the, the core of the team was. But I suppose that's a good problem to have as opposed to the opposite. So I'm definitely not complaining. You know, from the beginning of camp till now, that's, al that's almost double your numbers. Are, is there any expectation that you might even get a few more kids interested in the program before the season starts? Um, I, we've We actually went door to door to every – uh, kid every boy in the high school and so I think the the 25 that we have are, are that's who we're going to go forward with door to, so how's that how's a pitch work when you go to someone's door and you ask them how's that work do you just knock on there and say hey can I play you want to play high school football this year how's that look what's yeah that look? that's that's really what it was but we uh, kind of stressed some of the the key points um, what we were trying to accomplish this year and, and how we thought they could help and um, we kind of tailored to uh, some or ask them questions as to why they weren't playing to see if we could clear up any of those issues and it, it went really well and like I said our we had huge support from our administration and the community as far as uh, getting this team on the field and 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 the new kids that we have had uh, maybe they haven't been here since midget or or some of them might have played junior high but uh, they're working their butts off so is it harder to get kids that maybe haven't grown up in through the program to get them used to how Waynesfield Goshen plays football is that a pretty easy transition um it's it's difficult at first especially at the high school level because I think uh, obviously your your discipline expectations are a lot higher at the high school level than they were in midget but it also is kind of uh maybe rejuvenated our, our coaching staff and and things like that because we're we're going back to a lot of the basics and and stuff that maybe we've skipped over in the past so it's uh it's, it's been complicated at times, but also very exciting. So, uh, Let's talk about the team now. Offensively, first of all, what are you looking for uh, to improve upon and maybe even possibly tweak this year? Um, our, our offense is, is going to be very similar to what it was last year. Um, however, I think we, we've put a very heavy emphasis on expanding our passing game. Uh, we weren't very successful at that last year. Um, a lot of new faces on the line and in the backfield. Um, we have to, had to find a new quarterback and a new center. So um, the leaders of our line and, and the backs have uh, they've changed. So it's uh, uh, um, I guess from that aspect, it's uh, um, going to look at times like a different offense too. So in what ways going back to you talking about the seniors on the team having to be more vocal what has that um look like specifically have they how have they encouraged the younger kids to step up their games well i mean not, we've always kind of focused on leading by example more than words um guys like drew lamett and and trey crumrine um you know they've done a phenomenal job of of stepping up and um maybe just making practice run a little smoother um, and keeping everyone on the same page so and defensively, what are you looking for from the Tigers this year? 
Uh, completely different than last year. Uh, last year we ran a 5-3, and this year we're going to run a, a 4-2-5. So we have a new defensive coordinator this year and Bo Walters. So um, it, that's a whole new whole new game plan from that angle. Obviously, 3-7 and seven last year. Getting more wins would obviously be one way to see improvement. What goals other than that, maybe the better win-loss record, do you have for the team this year? Um, honestly, right now, as far as team goals, we haven't even talked much about the season. You know, my personal goals are, um, you know, I always want to be competitive in the league and I always want to make the playoffs. And, and those are team goals that we'll, we'll always have. And I think, uh, you know, we'll always be in the in that conversation. However, um, I think at times last year, maybe we got ahead of ourselves in, in setting those end of season goals. Um, so we've looked back this year and, and focused on things like being interchangeable. Um, you know, every back knowing every position as opposed to just focusing on your position and, uh, you know, things like uh, um, uh, increasing the intensity in our seven on sevens and, and practice. And those are our short term goals that have really, uh, I think, made us a better team up to this point. The interchangeability, is that uh, dictated by the number of kids that you have come out for the team? Uh, yes, but I think it's also going to be factored into our game plan. Uh, you know, obviously we need to be interchangeable to keep kids fresh, but uh, um, we also want to give, you know, it, it's it's kind of funny, all of our backs kind of complement each other. So switching them being or being able to run different positions is, uh, um, you know, all part of our game plan going into Friday nights also. So. Uh, as you get ready for uh, the football season, just kind of getting into practice, what has stuck out to you as far as um, maybe things either you see that you want to improve or just anything that maybe has caught your eye, either from a team perspective or individuals? Well, like I said, I'm, I'm very proud of our leadership, and, and there are some guys that uh, have worked so hard in the weight room, you know, guys like Chandler Little and Dustin Klinky that they've really uh, been impressive so far on the field with their quickness and, and overall strength. Um, but, you know, a lot of new faces and a lot of new positions, that, all, that, uh, that does create some excitement for the coaching staff, and uh, we're excited to get rolling with this season. Coach Tyler Turner of Waynesfield Goshen. Coach, thanks for joining us. When we come back, Andy Lynch will be back with some Waynesfield Goshen Tiger players right here on the warm-up on WOSN. Welcome back to Waynesfield Goshen. We're here with three of the seniors on that 25-man roster for the Tigers. To my right is Craig Green, senior offensive guard and outside linebacker who does not want to talk first, so he will not. That's okay. We'll go to Trey Crumrine in the middle. Uh, 70 tackles last year, quarterback, middle linebacker, and down on the end, Drew Lamott. Of course, the standout track and field star and also a pretty good football player, tight end, outside linebacker. Drew, let's start with you. How are things going for the Tigers? We're early into camp, but how are you feeling? Uh, pretty good. Um, everybody's learning and uh, having some growing pains, but everyone's catching on good. So, having to, Coach talked about going door to door to, to get some more guys out here. You weren't sure if you'd be able to have a team this year. What was that experience like for you? Um, it, was, it was pretty neat to see uh, some of the Tiger pride and yeah. people that want to come out and support us and <laughs> how uh, how does track and field, the skills you have in there, the different disciplines uh, you have, whether it's throwing or jumping, how do they translate on the football field? How do they help you? Um, I think definitely it helps in, like, quickness and uh, just beating people and being faster and quicker and everything like that. definitely helps. Trey Crumrine tr transitioning to quarterback this year. How are things going? Um, it's, it's working out better than I thought it was going to be. It's been a while since I actually – been a quarterback so <laughs> going from middle linebacker to quarterback it's going to be pretty hard <laughs> still gonna play defense right oh definitely got to play <laughs> we don't that, have any would you say you have a favorite side of the ball or still not sure oh it's got to be defense i love defense so that's it how's this tiger defense looking so far uh pretty strong we have uh we're playing a pretty good defense and i think the guys that we got got a lot of heart in our defense and it'll be pretty tough Talk about having coach for a second year, obviously a Waynesfield Goshen graduate. Uh, just what does he bring to this team? You feel more comfortable with him this year? Yeah, he brings uh, a lot of motivation, first of all, and he he does a lot of work trying to get our kids in and uh, talking about, 
going door to door, he was a big aspect in that. So I I like where he's going with the school. Craig Green, another one of the linebackers. We got the linebackers here. I, I'd be a little nervous. You guys are you're ready to hit, aren't you? You're ready yeah, to get out there. No ready. pads yet, but you're ready, aren't you? Oh yeah, been waiting for it for a while now. Switching defenses this year. How's that transition going? Are you guys uh, understanding? Um, well, it's uh, it's tough, I guess. I mean, for me, going from a nose guard to a linebacker is kind of kind of different now. But I mean, besides that, everybody's we're all learning, and getting there pretty good. You feel like that's going to help the, the you know the strengths that you have. This defense will really help. Um, I think so. I mean, with the personnel that we have, yeah, I think it will work pretty well. Waynesfield Goshen with two games to open the season at home. Hilltop comes here to Waynesfield August 28th, and then Troy Christian, a good game last year uh, that did go to Troy Christian, a playoff team, one season ago in week number 10. They will come here in week two. When we return on this Tiger preview, we will talk with more of the players. We're watching the warm-up on WSN. Final time here at Waynesfield Goshen on the warm-up. Andy Lynch with three more seniors. Brady Barnes to my right, senior running back. It's Jordan McKinney, the senior wide receiver in the middle and down on the end. Sean Schick, the center and defensive tackle. Brady and Jordan, uh, we, we heard from Coach about going door-to-door -door and recruiting some guys to get out on the team, and you both were, were members that got recruited. Just kind of what was that like to have a coach knock on the door and say, come play football? It was kind of like I didn't really expect it because I had a – Trey and Drew Lamont. Yep. They came to my door and knocked, and I came. And here I am. Did they have a good pitch? You were you sold yeah. right away? Yeah. <laughs> I was kind of excited to play. So. Awesome. When was the last time you played football? It's been quite a while, but I'm glad I came out. How about you, Jordan? How, how did it look for you? Oh uh, well, it was. I thought it was really nice that they came out. It shows that they really care about building a good team, and yeah, they sold me. <laughs> Has it been hard picking up the, the offense, that type of thing? Oh, yeah. it's <laughs> It's been a while since I played, just like him. <laughs> Sean, down on the end, uh, Coach talks about having guys that are interchangeable. You're going to go both ways, center on the, and, and then guard on the defensive side of the ball. Um, how, how's that been, being ready for, for bo both those positions but then other opportunities as well? It's been pretty good. I mean, I've been ready to do this for a while now. been playing football a lot, and I think I'm ready to do it this year. I saw on Twitter uh, the USV football team said that you know they had a little WG hashtag there. They wanted to see you guys uh, put a team together. Does that mean something, an NWCC rival supporting you guys? Definitely. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that support us now, and USV doing that for us is really awesome for us. Jordan, what did you think when you saw that? Uh, I thought they had great sportsmanship. I was really proud of them. <laughs> Lots of excitement coming up. Do you have a favorite rival that you do play during the year or a game you're looking forward to, Sean, on the calendar? Um, I think the team that I'm looking most forward to is Perry. Okay. That was a great game last year. Yeah. Also for uh, Waynesfield, Hard Northern, Ridgemont, Riverside, all wins last year. That Riverside game, that was a big win for you guys, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. That was a heartfelt game there. Definitely with the old championship team there supporting us. I think that's what really brought it out of us last year. Getting ready for Hilltop in the opener, Troy Christian, then at Allen East before Harden Northern opens NWCC play right here at Waynesfield Goshen. Want to thank all the guys and Coach Turner for stopping by on this warm up show. Thanks to Patrick Kamler and also Joe Vernick for bringing you all the great high definition pictures for the Tigers. I'm Andy Lynch here on WSN.